Bye. Bye. Don't be sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you soon, all right? Love I'll you. check in with you while we're on the road. All right, here we go. Dude, come on. Scoot, scoot. Let's go. Scoot over. Can't go anywhere with you in the driver's seat, buddy. Hey everyone, so we've just pulled in. We're in Ohio, so we didn't get on the road until, I don't know, it was about one o'clock today. Uh, I was waiting for my daughter to come by so that I could say goodbye to her. And so the plan was always just to, you know, do three or four hours into Ohio and then um, find a place. So that's what we did. It's about 5 p.m. I've had enough already. <laughs> Um, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to cook something to eat. Good morning. We have been awake since 2 a.m. It's now 5.30, listening to the rain. And for about the last hour... For about the last hour, massive lightning thunder. There we go. I just saw another flash. So it's pretty bad start to the trip. <laughs> just woke up couldn't sleep anymore it is 4 30 so that means it's 3 30 here because we did go through a time zone yesterday afternoon so one so we left the rest stop this morning at I don't know 4 a.m. 4 15 something like that we drove about 30 miles to a loves and we pulled in here 
took Lefty out for a walk. I went and got a big cup of coffee. And we just sat here and I watched some YouTube videos and drank my coffee. I don't really like driving in the dark. off of the interstate at like the world's most the world's most desolate gas station because about four miles back the front three solar panels blew off the truck yeah I'm still shaken from it we were hauling ass doing 70 and all this, you know, and it's been windy. I, you probably can't even hear me. Let me go see if the truck can block some of this. So we lost the front three panels. Cruising along, all of a sudden I hear clank. I look in the in the rearview mirror, the side view mirror, and I see three panels all connected together, flying through the air behind me. I don't know how. So lucky it didn't. They didn't hit anybody. I slammed the brakes, pulled off the interstate. It's about having a heart attack. Got out the ladder, climbed up and looked. The front three panels are gone. It ripped their wires right out of the MC4 combiner. Because the first thing I did when we pulled over, I looked at the charge controller readout and it's still got a green light, it's still functioning. So when I climbed up there and looked, Thank goodness, all it did was pull the wires right out of the MC4 combiner, so the remaining three panels are still wired up just fine and functioning. Okay, we're doing some uh, roadside fixes here to the solar panels. So the ones that are remaining, what I'm gonna do is add some additional brackets. Let me climb you up here. get a look so there's the brackets that were for the panels that are missing so I have more brackets and what I'm going to do is add some right along this front here because as I look at it I really need another face bracket out at these corners so I'm going to add one here and then down at the other end same position to give me more corner bracing.
everything all packed up, ready to go, went in to use the restroom and remembered the camera was still up here. <sighs> Almost lost you. Okay, buddy. So we're pulled over again, the wind, this is the third day in a row. I, I guess this is some gigantic winter storm and that manifests out here with crazy wind. So the first hour or so, hour and a half this morning driving, it was okay. And then the wind started again. And so we've pulled off cause it just got really, really bad. I've been going between 55 and 60 miles an hour max and suddenly the wind and the sky that's the direction we're headed and I decided I don't want to drive into that sky so we pulled off here in another one of these pretty desolate gas stations with the big dirt lot kind of gross and the wind is just tearing through here. Just crazy. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you can see me. We just woke up at the desolate gas station somewhere in Arizona. Spent a, kind of a rough night. Trucks came in. I had one truck that was about 14 inches from one side of me and this guy at least gave me about three feet so I had to back out in a perfect straight line and not hit the trucks this morning it's uh I don't know what time it is because my clocks are all messed up because of the time it's 518 local time here it's snowing yep it's snowing Okay, so we, we had pulled off from the snowstorm into this truck stop. Let Lefty go out and take a walk around. Poor guy, we're, we're walking, this is all parking lot, and he had to, had to bear up and do a number two right in the middle of the parking lot. 
poor thing. I feel bad. You know, that goes against. He can't scratch his, do scratch outs in the dirt after he was done. But uh, it is what it is. I had bags on me, and yes, I did clean it up. I didn't leave a, a full adult sized dookie out in the middle of the parking lot. So I might. <laughs> See that storm look at that and I believe because we're headed that direction thank goodness I just pulled off checked the solar panels climbed up on the ladder because I was hearing a little noise coming from the roof and it's I'm sure it's just the cables I zip tied them all down uh, as best I could up there but they obviously have some they have a little bit of slack in them so the wind can make them I think tap up and down on the on the roof and that's what I'm hearing the panels are all they look solid lefty thinks they're okay so we're gonna get back on the interstate and get going Five feet elevation. A lot of pine trees. Really a beautiful place. I just want to go down where it's warmer. Well, the sky, I don't know if you can tell, you see the, looks like Armageddon. So we were headed into what looks like a giant sandstorm. So again, we've got 30 mile an hour with 45 plus mile an hour gusts for, what is this, the third day in a row, fourth day in a row? So I've, I'm going 55 miles an hour, that's it. 
and not going to go any faster. I just pulled in here to get some gas because I'm using I'm using more fuel than ever. Can you see the lake? Heck yeah. talking to the camera <laughs> so I'm happy to say that we are finally down in the quartzite area after that seven-day journey um, across the country so we left last Tuesday we got here yesterday Monday so we were on the road Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And fighting against this massive storm the whole way. It started in Missouri. So Missouri has a lot of um, up and down hills. Nothing that's too challenging, but we were fighting into wind. And the truck was just, you know, you really know it. As soon as you let off the the pedal, the truck slows down like five miles an hour instantly. That's when you know you're fighting into that wind. Because normally, when there's no wind, you know, you can let off the pedal a little bit and the truck will keep going. But uh, it was just a battle. I mean, it was a real battle. From Missouri onwards, the weather was just horrible. I mean... So this is just uh, getting, feeling settled and, okay. So thanks everybody. I'm just gonna continue walking him for a while. Let him work off some energy. 